be Sunday for last two. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name's Caroline. Welcome back. It is Sunday, July 25th. And uh, yeah, I'm just here super quick today. I was not going to record a video today because I have a lot to share. So I was going to probably record a rather lengthy floss tube video tomorrow on Monday. But uh, I had a tiny finish last night and <laughs> I had to kind of, you know, gloat about it just a little bit. And I knew you would all understand. I knew that you would be um, ready to, you know, wave the flag and say, hooray, Caroline finally finished something. And it's, it's just a tiny little something but it is something that I really wanted to finish in the month of July to, to have a little, you know, um, Christmas in July celebration. So, are you ready? Santa's Village, Mrs. Claus's Cookie Shop is done. So, the fourth pattern of 12. I finished it super late last night. I'm not even going to admit how late it was when I went to bed, but look at that. Hopefully it's, can you see it? Yeah, there it is. Look, it's all done. And I finished the candy cane border at the top. I did the French knots for the cookies. Everything is done. So let's see. I think you can see the whole thing. The entire top row is now finished. This is a 36 count. Um, pearl barley fabric by picture this plus and I'm using the called for threads that it's charted for it is a country cottage needleworks uh, collection of 12 charts and I'm stitching them all in one piece of fabric and it will probably take me another 10 years to complete <laughs> because now that I have finished mrs. Claus's cookie shop this is gonna go away for a little while I'll probably you know maybe in the month of December I'll try to get one more, um, one more chart stitched before the end of the year. But this is a, this piece is kind of a journey for me. My kids are a little bit older now, Nicholas. And my, my youngest son is now um, 13. And so, you know, I'm kind of looking ahead as, you know, one day maybe my grandkids will think that this is, this is really something special to look at. I plan on finishing it as a wall hanging. Um, probably won't frame it. And, and I think, I don't know, either that or maybe a giant pillow like Miss Patty does, but most likely a wall hanging. Yeah, love it, look. So hooray, hooray, a tiny little finish. All done. So that whole first row is now done. So, hooray. Um, so yeah, thanks in advance, because I know you're gonna be <laughs> very pleased that I finished something because I do love to start all the things but it's not often that I have even a small finish so but that's okay that's all right it's okay for me anyways I know that's not for everybody but I am definitely a process stitcher I just love the whole process of you know choosing the pattern the fabrics the floss putting it all together putting those first few stitches in and just, you know, the sound of the floss going through the fabric and the feel of the needle in your hand and that sort of quietness that happens when you get into that, that zone. I know you know. It's all so good, isn't it? The other thing that I wanted to quickly share today is a little update on the Caroline shawl. If you would like to knit this shawl along with me, if this is the first time you're hearing about it, it is a pattern by my friend Josh Mull. From the, from the Netherlands. And Josh designed this chart and named it after me. So this is the Caroline shawl. And Josh is currently, she has, has up for offer four skeins of a beautiful cashmere yarn. And each one of them is, she called them a magic gradient. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to tuck in a photo today. I hope that if you've maybe been thinking that you might wanna knit this shawl, then you'll join with me. Send me an email, caroline at evertote.com, if you're gonna knit this shawl along with me and I will enter you in to a giveaway to win one of Josh's beautiful skeins of yarn. Now she has them all caked up, so I should call them yarn cakes, and they are cashmere, so beautiful. 
I'll leave a link in the drop down box below for the pattern. And I'm sorry I'm a bit rushed today, um, but I was I was just so excited to share that I'd finished something um, that I couldn't quite resist, a quick little pop on hello. However, I will be back tomorrow with um, probably a much, much longer video, lots of things to share. So until then, um, I hope that you're having a great weekend. I hope that you've had some time to recharge, relax, do a bit of crafting just for yourself. Um, I, I did last night when I got home and it was just so exciting to finish that, that little chart. It was really, really fun. So next up uh, tonight, I'm going to probably put a few stitches into my Rosewood Manor Spring Quakers. I'll share that with you tomorrow. So until then, have a great night. Happy stitching. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.